Looks like it's time. Let's go. Also, apparently this is Fitz's stream now. Uh, <laughs> Fitz, what are you doing? He's decided that he's he's gonna come do embroidery, apparently. Buddy, buddy, you gotta lay down somewhere. Just lay down. <laughs> oh, he's very helpful. He just has to uh, rub his face against everything. And also spread cat hair everywhere, apparently. Oh, okay. There we go, that's a good spot for him. Yeah, there you go, that's a good spot. Since I'm not doing resin tonight, and there's nothing that's gonna be super dangerous to the cats or anything, I have the, the door open a crack so they can come come visit as they always want to buddy although if he keeps running into everything we'll see if fits <laughs> we'll see if that dude i have a paintbrush here that i use for for uh dusting uh mica powders into a mold hi jen and fits is trying to claim it as his own but you don't need a paintbrush you don't need a paintbrush, buddy. You're on time and home. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, you're really affecting the white balance on here, too. Fitzy boy. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to... No, you don't need the paintbrush. You don't... You don't need the paintbrush. I'm hoping to finish the bow tie tonight. I thought maybe I was done, but I think I really need some more a little bit further over. Because once I put it on, it's not quite like on the edge, so it looks kind of odd. You still post D&D &D serotonin? Playing your bard? Your bard character you've been working on? Fit. He's still trying to... Your DM is phenomenal? Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Look at this thief. Look at this thief. Buddy. Buddy, buddy, uh, you're gonna have to go down. You're gonna have to go down. You've gotta stop trying to steal my paintbrush. It's going back over there in the weird stack of stuff that you knocked over. There was one moment that made you insane, but you'll post it on the Discord post stream. All right, sounds like a plan. I do look forward to hearing about it. Yeah, it should be should be pretty uh, chill. Well, I always say it should be a pretty chill stream, but it's me, so, you know, when is it ever really chill? Um, but, I mean, we're not rushing around for anything. I don't have, like, a end goal, necessarily. I want to try and finish this bow tie. But otherwise, no real uh, end goal for tonight. We're just continuing on with the project that we've been working on. It's you, so, <laughs> so when is it ever chill? Also valid. Um, I do have stuff in the pressure pot, so at some point we'll probably take a, an embroidery break and go pull things out of the molds. Of, we'll pull some dice out of molds. Um, but otherwise, I've just, you know, got my embroidery. Got my, got my, uh, my bow tie on. Got a, a pot of tea. Pot of tea. And a uh, tray of snacks. So, it's going to be just uh, sitting and snacking and doing some embroidery. Uh, you're biking while you watch. Waiting for a pen to charge and then you're going to draw D&D &D doodles. Ooh, like stuff from the game tonight. Or more um, characters for something else. I was part of a um, campaign once. It's probably, probably one of the most fun games that I was a part of. It kind of ended in disaster a little bit. Um, one of the one of the players was used to DMing. It kind of, kind of led to them being very uh, trying to control things a little bit and then we had an argument and stuff. But uh, still a really fun game. And there's a couple moments in there that I really wanted to try and draw. Or try and do like a renaissance painting of. And like I never actually did it. I found the uh, little sketches that I did for that recently and made me think of it. It's like, oh, that, that'd be fun to do. Oh, Fitzy boy. Gotta get your tail out of the way, but otherwise you're good. Yeah, you can hang out here. You can hang out. Let me close this so you don't end up with a needle in your tail or anything. 
<laughs> gotta draw the moment that made you insane. Well, perfect. You can uh, you can post photos of that then, or pictures of that then in the Discord too, so we can all see the cool moment. Hmm, maybe I should. Uh, trying to. I need to uh, start thinking about what all I want to. What all I want to put um, along this edge. So what I was saying before was my problem is so I have all this moss here, but my problem is that when I actually put the bow tie on, it really folds more like here, and so things don't end up along the edge. So it doesn't really look quite right. I want it to kind of look like things were along the edge, but I do think that maybe the teamwork of last night so impeccable. Oh, see that's always great. That's that. See that's always the thing. That was part of the reason that that campaign was actually really fun is because that was the one where we hardly ever fought because we did we were really good at like talking our way out of situations or like figuring out a way to like do stuff that led to us not fighting and it was all kind of teamwork based to a certain extent and that's just that's just the best hey no no what are you trying to do buddy are we just holding hands are we just holding hands? Is that what is that what's happening? We're holding hands. Yes, hello. I need my other hand for this. Oh, that's really cool. Your DM wanted to make every skill, even just to throw a throw away one, important. That's one of my favorite things in D and D, is creative uses of skills. I'm not always like the most creative person. I, I, I don't think of myself as being that creative. I can um, kind of take... I, I'm better at like editing than I am at writing. Um, what is going on with my thread here? Goodness. My stuff is all... This isn't good. Just a second. Oh, my thread here is... Uh, is all funky. It got like all knotted, strangely. No, I'm like, but I'm like a, no, buddy, you are not going to steal my thread. You're going to get stabbed. I don't want a stabbed kitty. That's not the kind of kitty I want. That's the opposite of what I want. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'm a better, like, editor than writer. Like, uh, I don't think of myself as being very creative. I can kind of, um remix ideas better than I can come up with ideas um, or I can come up with ideas but then I can't actually put them into uh, practice um, but where was I going with this oh I really I really love in d, &D games one of my favorite things is when people do use a magic item or just a regular item or one of their skills that didn't quite seem like it made sense in the situation and they use it to their advantage um or they're just i just love when people get creative with with their random skills and items and things um one of my i really enjoyed the laura bailey blueberry cupcake special i was actually thinking of a moment from campaign one in critical role where they were fighting a dragon and one of the ideas that they had was to teleport to inside the dragon and then uh put down a an immovable rod <laughs> inside the dragon and like stuff like that it's just so amusing to me because it's just like okay this this is ridiculous but it does make sense that that would do something good luck to the dm trying to figure out what exactly that does but that's just a, such a fun use of that item and of the abilities that the characters have to teleport and everything like that. Oh my goodness, this thread. Mm. This is a mess. My thread is a mess. Yeah, you can see. You can see my thread is a mess. I didn't, uh, I didn't hold it taut, I think, or something. Or I was holding the wrong part taut. Um, yeah, so you have a high charisma party, which is always fun. <laughs> Being a bard is fun because I was like, cast spell, get his ass. 
Uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, hmm. Okay, where, okay, that's this one. We're just going to spend a moment to figure out where my thread is going, apparently. So everything is all tied up in a knot. Hydra and you diagnosed it with brain shock. Your DM spiritually wished to kill you. It was uh, great because he's usually the combat guy. Ah, uh, knows all the knows all the stuff. Uh, I might just. I might end up. Okay, I'm gonna pull this through and see if I can. Okay. We're ending up with, with a big uh, loops here, but considering this is moss, it's okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna call it good. And try and move on from the uh, terrible whatever is going on with that thread. That's the nice thing about this is that if it ends up messy, it's okay, because <laughs> uh, goodness knows that I would probably not be able to do something if it wasn't allowed to get super messy. That's just not my style. I'm always I'm always doing stuff that's super messy. Why do you think I do resin and soap? Um too bad long rests are super limited, but you think the spite was worth it. <laughs> it's always You know, it's always good to think about I haven't really DM'd much. Um and part of that is because like I said, I'm better at, I don't know, I, I don't know that I'm the most creative person, necessarily. Um, I'm better at, like, going along with something than, like, creating something myself. Um, so I'm much happier being, like, a, a character in, in a world and trying to create the world. Although, at the same time, like, I have a whole idea for a book. Fitz, are you trying to steal my paintbrush again? Yes, hello, buddy. Oh, yes, come give me headbutts. Hello. Is this comes to my lap? Can come to my lap? Can come to my lap? Oh, Hello, sweetheart. I've gotten distracted by cat. Buddy, buddy, you're in the way. Oh, hello. Here, come to my lap. No? Oh, <laughs> he's got to come see what I'm working on. Okay. Well, let's, let me uh, see if I can position this so that we can, no, no, let's see if I can position this so we can all see, and you don't get stabbed. Although, actually, I think I'm going to need to, <laughs> uh, this is why the, the, the cats are not fit. Stop trying to steal the paintbrush. You don't need the paintbrush. It's not your paintbrush. No. No. Yeah, come here, come chill out. Oh, he's a good boy, though. Well, I say that right after he's trying to steal stuff from me. But sometimes he's a good boy. I have a picture from this morning. Here, I'll show you I'll show you the picture from this morning. It was very hard to get out of bed this morning. Um, even though I needed to go work on things. It is nice making my own schedule because I can stay in bed, like, a little bit. But here was... Here was Fitz and not this morning when I woke up. Look at them. Look at them in bed. They're so cute. I did wake him up uh, with belly rubs, which he wasn't super... Get back here. Which he wasn't super happy about. But it was just so tempting to rub the belly. So tempting to rub the belly. Your collar's a little bit loose, buddy. Your collar's a little bit loose. Yes, hello. Come on, why don't you lay down? Buddy, uh, he really wants that paintbrush still. Uh, 
no, I guess I can, I can just, as long as I can keep doing knots, I can always tie it off and then tie a knot. I'm just trying to get that paintbrush again. I don't know why he wants that paintbrush so much. Like, it kind of doesn't surprise me, because it fits. Fits! <laughs> what are you doing? You don't need the paintbrush. Yes, I said your name. Hello. Yes, hello. You don't need the paintbrush. You don't need a paintbrush. Come on. Just chill out. Just chill out. Come lay down. Come lay down and hang out. You don't need a paintbrush. Uh, I'm figuring we could probably pull things out of the... Um, yeah, don't step on don't step on the needle or anything. I think we can probably pull things out of the pressure pot to go and mold some dice and stuff, probably at around nine-ish. So I figure we'll work on this for a couple hours and then unmold some stuff and see where we're at. What are you doing? Oh, careful, can't step there. Yeah, I know, you found the wool. I have I have some wool roving over here. And the reason that the bag is like this is because of this cat. Um, I had it in a shelf, uh, like a series of drawers, and I didn't have like the drawer above it in. Um, and he really wanted it. And so he climbed into that one and like pulled it out. There we go, buddy. There we go. That's better. I mean, your tail's a little bit in the way, but I think we can work around the tail. You know, as soon as I say that, you decide you need to get up and go try and get into all of my molds and everything so you can add cat hair to them. Is that what's going on? Hi. Or are you just trying to make it so that people can't see? Hello. Hi. Are you being a good boy? This is, you guys are, this is just what happens. You, you guys are just now being privy to what happens. Oh, hello! How you doing, Omar? We have a cat who's trying to help. Um, he's being very helpful. Buddy, just lay down somewhere. Just lay down. Yeah, he's, he's instead of, you know, trying to hang out. Dude! That's one of my molds! It's one of my molds. No, stop trying to rub your head against my molds. It's not going to do anything for you. Yes, he's doing all the help. He's trying to steal a paintbrush over here. <coughs> he's trying to steal a paintbrush. Um, he's trying to get cat hair all over my molds over here. Uh, he's really just wandering around, like, trying to headbutt everything. Oh, thank you. It's all the cat hair. Or I'm only mildly allergic to cats. Uh, he's probably gonna try and jump up places that he shouldn't. He's moved, moved over. All right. I'm just gonna add a few more. Oh, I guess we could add some beads or something too. I'm running out of. Oh, I see. He's gone around to try and get the uh, the paintbrush. He's behind the monitor now. Dude, why are you trying to steal? No, 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 no. You do not need this paintbrush. I'm going to put that up there. Out of the way. I don't know why he's so insistent on that paintbrush. Dude, what's up with you? <laughs> not used to seeing me not in an oversized sweater. To be fair, I'm usually wearing uh, stuff that I wouldn't mind getting resin on. So since I'm, I'm working with stuff that's not as messy today, I'm like, yay, I can wear fun things. I like wearing like a bow tie and vest, but I am usually in, in an oversized sweater. But thank you. Ah, gives me an excuse to uh, dress up a little bit. Hello. Uh, and I was saying earlier that we I do plan to unmold some stuff. Dude, are you trying to like, what are you trying to do over here? Oh, you're trying to knock things over, I see. This is stuff that I need later, buddy. This is stuff for commissions. Yeah. Yes, you're being very helpful. He's a very helpful cat. But yes, this is this is just a, a normal conversation in my house. It's mostly just me talking to my cat. 
Uh, <laughs> cat goes off screen. It's, it's, you know, the, like, stereotypical, like, sound effects for someone running into, like, a bunch of trash cans? Yeah, people, someone running into a bunch of trash cans and a cat screeching. It's just, uh, it's just that 24-7 in my house. But yes, we will, we will, we will unmold some stuff later. But I want to try and get this a little bit more, a little bit more done. Um, I think that's probably about as far as I can go. What are you doing? So the, usually the only cat that I really allow in here, to be fair, I think, mm, I think Fitz is the Second most annoying cat in here, maybe. You leaving? Okay, bye bye. Um, usually, the only cat that I let in here really is not, um, and that's because she's usually pretty good about not getting into things. Um, okay, he seems to have left for now. Uh, she's pretty good about not getting into things. Like she'll, she, she will, but uh, for the most part, she's pretty content with just like sitting on my lap. But Fitz, Fitz has got to be into everything. He's a cat. <laughs> start startup noises uh, play. Is that uh, Jen's startup noises? Where did I just put my needle? Where did I just put my needle? Um, oh, it's right here. I think I set it on top of this. <laughs> lore time! Lore! Oh, I need to change that so that it's, um... I found it. I found it. It's okay. Uh, I need to change that so it's transparent. I think you can change it so it's transparent. I'll probably have to go do that in GIMP or something. I don't know if I can do that in, in Creed App, but I'll, I'll have to figure it out. I forgot about that. Let me make a note of that, actually, my planner. Once I get this uh, threaded. Okay, don't drown. Okay. There we go. Let me, let me make a note. I don't... I'll have to see if, like, I can? I would assume that I can make emotes. Uh, make emote transparent. Alright, I would assume that I can make it transparent, but like, on the one hand, I don't really know. I haven't really done that. I'm going to eat a strawberry. It's a dried strawberry. So I'm just adding some more of this dark, these dark French knots. I feel like it it's nice and mossy. Although really, maybe I should add some like, maybe I should add some beads or something in here. Um, I don't think I could fit my needle through these. There's some brown ones here. Let me see if I can fit my needle through one of these brown ones. Mm, nope, not really. I think I have some thinner needles, but that's okay. So let's see. The Party. Penrose, Scourge, Asmar, Eloquence, Bard, Slanees, aka the Fire Pit, Goblin, Phantom, Rogue, and Fairfax, Human, Aberrant, Mind, Sorcerer. Fairfax. Oh, I'm thinking of Colfax. Slanese? Slanese, okay. Alright. Hmm. Just figuring out, I have a whole bunch of like random beads over here. I'm trying to find something that will. Something for like a brown or something. I could do some of these green ones maybe, but I've done those with kind of the lighter yellow. I've already done like these pink ones with kind of like the lighter green. I was kind of hoping for this brown, but it's a little, they're a little bit small. That's okay. I could do a few like yellow. I have like this yellow here. Oops, can't even see that. Like this yellow here that I could do. 
Hmm. Let's just. Ooh. Mmm, those would be a little bit big. I have some other yellow ones over here, but they'd be a little bit big. We'll, we'll hold off on the, the beads for now, I think. Just do a whole bunch more, a whole bunch more French knots. Um, so I think it, it kind of folds, kind of folds in there. So I, I kind of, I want this to kind of extend a little bit back. Um, cause I want this to look like it's on the fold, wherever that ends up being. Um, otherwise it just looks a little bit weird. It kind of looks like things are floating and that's not really not what I want. Let's see. They've all been called as infamous noble adventurers upon the tower of the storm Magus. Magus? Magus? Magus, probably. In a world of no sun or moon, but rotational stars, the Tempest Star threatens to explode, surely to destroy the world within three in-game days. The party has to take on seven challenges before time runs out. Ooh, that's fun. Gives you a little bit of a... I see that's how you have your... Uh, um, I, I like how it has been set up into the story that you only have a certain number of long rests. Like, I know you mentioned that you only had a certain number of long rests, but that really does, uh, like, make sure that you, you know how many long rests you have. Also, it looks like there's another kitty cat here. Hi, Luna! Since the door's open, they're all, uh... They've all gotta come see what's going on. We've all arrived to the first level of the tower. It was a tavern. There is a tavern in the tower. That seems rather strange. But there's some sort of like puzzle or challenge associated with it. Which, to be fair, that, that's pretty cool. That sounds like something, that sounds right up my alley. I love stuff like that. You forgot to make the it's gonna be May joke in my Discord yesterday. Ah, uh, now it's too late. It's too late. It's my brother's birthday today. Tower Tavern. Mm -hmm. hmm. Sorry. Uh, Luna is in here and she's being like. She's just kind of wandering around, which normally she likes to be all up in my business. It's like, it's like when there's kids and you, you really have to be worried the most when you can't hear them. <laughs> in this case, I know that Luna's in the room. Uh, and so I'm, I'm worried because I, she's not wreaking havoc. It's like, what is she getting into? What's she doing? I literally could just hear a cat jumping off of something upstairs, too, and running. I wonder if we're going to have another cat come decide to come join us, too. Alright, I'm trying to kind of bring this up a little bit so that it's going to kind of connect to the corner here. And that will hopefully make it so that this stuff doesn't feel like it's floating quite as much. Um, that's the idea, anyways. Anyway. The memory space didn't have any people, a lot of alcohol, and one NPC who was apparently created by the storm Mad, Mad, Mag, Mag, Magus, 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 we'll say Magus, himself. She wasn't allowed to give too many hints to each level, but seemed genuinely concerned for the storm Magus's mental health. He apparently had isolated himself in this multi-planar contained tower for a long time. Oh, see, that's interesting. I, I had assumed that this was like an evil wizard or something, but it sounds like maybe it's not. Maybe it's not an evil wizard. <laughs> He's probably fucked up. And, to, and no wizards aren't not fucked up. No, that's valid. That's valid. I wasn't saying that, like, 
Like, it was a good wizard. But not, maybe not, like, chaotic evil or something. It was the, which was what, I, when you said you were going to be fighting your way through a wizard tower, that was my, that's how I kind of envision, envisioned the, uh, the wizard. It was some sort of, like, chaotic evil or something. Your wizard's a goliath that used to be human. Ooh, that's fun. Um, he knew of your, okay, he knew of our arrival, and that's why he set seven levels out of the 77 in the tower, apparently. This dude is schmoobin'. But now I want to know what the other 77, what the other 77 uh, challenges are. The first level was a game show. Ooh, that's fun. See, I, I love stuff like this. I love stuff where it's like kind of reality bending or genre bending in D&D. &D. Like that stuff's fun. That was why my my brother's giant mansion that he, he created at one point for, D actually that was in Pathfinder, but that he created at one point was really fun. It's because it was also kind of like reality bending type stuff. And that's just cool. That stuff's just cool. I don't know, there's just, there's something, something fun about that. I mean, I'm, uh, my brother and I have talked about this too. We both really like stuff that kind of falls in like the Uncanny Valley sort of, or like Eldritch Horror type stuff. Like we both really like, like, fey stuff. Oh, hey mama! Um, like, Understanding like fey logic and uh, the eldritch horror type creatures and like that sort of stuff, which is slightly removed from re reality. Like, we both love stuff like that. Um, okay, it was called Don't Get Obliterated and it was run by Two Cross Elemental, Air Earth, and Water Fire, Twin Jins, Priyanka, and uh, Chanka. Tachanka. How are you doing, Mother of Rats? Glad you could make it. We're just doing some, some embroidery tonight. Something a little bit different from, uh, from resin. Although we, we will be unmolding some resin a little bit later. I have stuff in the pressure pot. But I do want I do want to finish this. I like, to be fair, this is a project that's going to take a long time. Like, I've spent how many hours on, on this so far, which is not very much, and then I have a, a vest, I have a whole vest that I want to do too, although this one I kind of, I might make some like polymer clay mushrooms and stuff too, because I feel like that'd be cool. <clears throat> um, we're talking about uh, the Jen's um, D and D game from from last night. You're totally tired. It's almost five in the morning in France. You just want to say hello before going to sleep. Um. Well, I'm glad you could stop by before you head to bed. Man. Yeah, you you gotta get some sleep. I'm doing good though. I'm doing good. I'm uh, kind of happy to be working on something that's not resin. Uh, I went just, it's nice to take a break every once in a while. I did also finish my crow painting, which I did post to the Discord, but I should have brought that down. It's upstairs. Um, the point of the show was do not get obliterated. There were four riddles and then four bonus challenges for each riddle challenge completed. One head of a 12-headed hydra would be chopped off that you would inevitably have to fight. I know, isn't that the opposite of what you do with the hydra? I was just thinking the same thing, Omar. Just like, uh, don't you not want the heads to get chopped off because that adds more heads? Oh, they sealed. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. That that does make things a little bit better. Dif oh, well, I don't know if, I don't know that I'm necessarily very good at embroidery, but the nice thing about doing moss is that uh, it can be a little bit messy. 
I'm definitely, I can be messy with it if I'm making moss. Uh, you missed a little bit earlier where I got giant loops here that uh, were just didn't want to cooperate and I'm just like, well, it's moss, we can just leave it, it's fine. Let's see, helped friend move and then took a nap. Hope the move went smooth. I, I was going to work on some stuff uh, earlier today and then I ended up taking like a very short nap instead. Oh, well, well, thank you, Mother of Rats. Mm, slowly, slowly working on it. I'm doing some, some moss. I'm going to be doing more of the same thing on this side, so it doesn't matter that it went through. What you doing, Luna? I don't know, she's just sniffing around over there. This is, this is a project that... That's just been a, a perpetual project, though, for a little bit now. The first the first stream... So I've only been working on this on stream. I haven't actually worked on this off of stream. Like, this was one of the things that I had been wanting to do and, like, hadn't made the time for. And I finally just used streaming as, like, an excuse to work on it. It's like, oh, I need something to work on. I can, I'll, I'll just work, start on the, uh, the thing that I wanted to cover in Moss. Um, I haven't actually worked on it outside of the stream, but, uh, the first stream where I worked on this, I think we spent, like, five hours working on it. It's taken, it takes so much time to do so many French knots. Didn't really realize how long it was going to take. Um, let's see. Your party managed to get all the, okay. My party and I managed to get all the riddles correct, and we succeeded at all the bonus challenges, leaving us with the obligatory four heads. Two of the challenges were skill challenges. One of them was charades. One of them was a five-round survival sinkhole that sucked uh, for everyone involved. Um, no, yeah, not anybody. Omar needs to sleep tonight. He's used all his energy to be helping someone. Uh, uh, my bard rolled a nat twenty in performance and got a thirty-five total. It was oh gosh. Hi, Jacob August. Yeah, I know, I, I, I've definitely, uh, I'm doing, like, nothing but French knots here, which is, was maybe a mistake, but it just, it has the right look to it. And I got it, you know, it looks mossy. That's the, that's the whole point. But it does, it's gonna take forever. Hopefully, though, it will look cool once it's done. That's the, that's the idea. Yeah, just time consuming. I didn't even realize how much time this was going to take when I started it. I don't really do much embroidery. My mom, um, I grew up with my mom doing a lot of embroidery, but I've never really done much embroidery. Um, I didn't really realize how long this would take. But, you know, it's, it's a project. It's, it, I feel like this is kind of a rela it is kind of relaxing. It's kind of repetitive. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's just something chill to work on on stream. Like, with, like, resin and stuff, um, I do love working on resin on stream. Like, obviously. That's what I do most of the time. But this is, this is I feel like this is more of just a sit around and chat type, type project. Um... Let's see. You're knitting a sweater for a penguin? What? Wait, 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 wait. For like an actual penguin? Oh, is this a belt? Here, I'll show you in just a moment what this is. Actually, you know, it'll probably be easier for me to just um, take off the one that I'm wearing and show you the shape as opposed to try and uh, put this on. But this is... A bow tie. It's a bow tie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, both of these actually my mom made for me a long while ago, back while I was in high school, I think. I think probably back while I was in high school. Um, 
And this this one, like she made she made this vest and bow tie, and also this bow tie and, and the vest that goes with it. Um, this one, the like the the white one here, um, I haven't really worn it much because it just kind of looks it it kind of like doesn't sit quite right. It kind of poofs up around all the seams and everything, um, which is probably the reason that I'm I'm doing this because I feel like I could help keep so the seams down. I look so fancy. Well, thank you. I honestly like dressing like this normally. I just haven't had much of a reason to recently. And also when I'm working on, on resin, I usually try to wear stuff that I wouldn't mind getting resin on, just in case. And it's the same with painting usually too. Um, you live by a, a tiny island occupied with cute little fairy penguins. They get cold, so the sweaters keep them warm and protect them from oil spills. Okay, that's so cute. That's so cute. I would love to see photos of uh, either them when they're done or how they're coming along because that sounds adorable. Um, I don't know if you're part of my Discord. I will. Um, I will. I will put that information. If you, if it's an easy way to just share photos, uh, like in progress photos and stuff. There's a spot there for arts and crafts and what people are working on. Um, and don't feel like you have to share, but I'd love to, I'd love to see the little, little sweaters you're working on. That sounds adorable. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Okay, let me, there we go. That's bow tie back on. Oops, my collar's not quite down. There we go. Whose store? Whose store did you look at? My store? Um, did I sew it myself? The the bow tie? Uh, my mom made the both of these bow ties and the vests. Um, oh, my store. There's not much in there at the moment. There's going to be more stuff in there on... Oh, gosh. On Facebook. Friday. There's gonna be more stuff in there on Friday. Hi Luna. There's a there's a kitty cat here. Wanna come say hi? Come here. Did she make one for the kitty? Um no, but I did I did have a little bow tie for Fitz at one point, and it was very cute. I'll have to, actually I might have, here, here's not, or not, here's Luna. Oh, the galaxy dice. Those are the ones, to be fair, those I try to keep in stock quite often. Um, they're, those were like the original type of dice that I had in my shop, the galaxy dice were. And so they're one of the few kinds that I try to keep in stock. The glitter melon ones have been there since my last restock. So here, let me see if I can find. I did show this picture off earlier of Fitz and Not this morning. Oh god damn, they're so cute. And then I had to I had to pet the belly and it woke him up. But um, just let me find. I have a picture of Fitz and his bow tie. I think it's on Instagram. Let me go look. Um. Let me see here. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have his bow tie on in this photo. Oh, wait. You know where I might have a picture of him with a bow tie on? Yeah, it's my, it's my, just a second. It's my, it's my lock screen. Uh, just a second here. Well, I, I have a, um random Verizon thing, but yeah, no, my, the lock screen on my phone is, is fits in a bow tie. <laughs> Look at him with his little bow tie. But. <clears throat> yes, no, so, uh, anyways, anyways.
this, yeah, fits with this little bow tie. Now I, uh, yeah, I don't know, I want to get back to being weird. I feel like I haven't been weird in a while. That sounds weird. Um, and I mean, you know, you guys may disagree. Um, I don't know, I feel like I haven't, eh, I don't know, I'm thinking back to when I was in, uh, at university. I, um, I was at university for a couple of years and I came back and had a desk job. Uh, I came back because I got a job. Um, and I used to dress, what are you eating? What are you eating? Uh, why did that not work? Oh, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Bon nuit. It is so nerve-wracking trying to speak a foreign language, especially if you're trying to do it with someone who's a native speaker. Maybe that's just me. Probably not just me, but like, I don't know. There's something about it. Anyways. Uh... I don't know. I, okay. And also, I don't know what Fits in the Tantrums is. Is that a song or a band? But I feel like I should know about it considering my cat's name. Like, you know. They're a band. Okay. To be fair, Fitz is actually, like, for my cat, is short for Fitz William. Um, all of my cats are named after, like, literary or podcast characters. I think I've mentioned this before. They're all named after literary or podcast characters. And so he's actually named Fitzwilliam Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. Why are my French knots not working? Do I not have enough tension? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I never know, like, who's been here for what conversations. I tend to repeat myself a lot. Uh, let's fill that in a little bit. Ah, oh, I think that's maybe what happened. Yeah, that's maybe, maybe a French knot. Coming back, Luna? Oh, slowly building up, uh, slowly building up some, uh, some of the, uh, French knots here. Hi! Are you here to help? Luna's here to help now, too. Hmm. Oh, no, what are you, what are you sniffing? Those are my cookies. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Sorry, I'm eating an Oreo now. I made the mistake of putting an entire Oreo in my mouth. Hello. But it was yummy. Did I bring enough for the class? I'm afraid there's only the one cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I do. I do have. I didn't bring it. Well, to be fair, let's see. There's four viewers apparently. And I only have two more cookies left, so as long as we split them in half, it's fine. But I did bring, I did bring snacks. Oh, that was very loud, I'm sure. Yep. 
I'm, I'm very professional with my super crunchy snacks. Um, <laughs> it's just, to be fair, it's a very random assortment. Well, I kind of wanted like a mix of things. Like I wanted some sort of savory type things and some sort of like sweet type things. Yep, there was, yep, there is, that was what I just had was a Japanese peanut. Yes, to be fair, the wasabi peas and the Japanese peanuts are really good together. If you ever, if you ever, just, no, um, yeah, I had never tried the Japanese peanuts before, um, and then my brother saw them at, like, Winco, in one of, like, the bulk bins, because we get snacks from there sometimes, um, and he's just like, oh, that sounds interesting to try, and he got, uh, got some, did he get a big bag at first? He got some at, at the very least, um, and we were just like, oh, these are really good. Ooh, lime and hot sauce. I can see that being good. I can see how that would be good. Okay, let me put this back on the screen so you guys can see. Um, that, yeah, that's, that does sound good. They're kind of nice because I feel like they could be either kind of sweet or savory. Like the... It's like a, it's like kind of like a, a rice cracker. It seems like on uh, surrounding a peanut, and they're very crunchy, and I like crunchy things. Um, but like, they're good like with savory things. So with like the wasabi peas, but they're also pretty good with like sweet things. So like chocolate type stuff. It's kind of nice. They're very versatile. Okay, that tail is gonna get tied into my into my bow tie. Look at this fluffy tail. Look at this fluffy tail. Yes, hello. Very neutral snack, yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay. Let's maybe pick a different color of thread now. Let's see what we've got. Are we using your tail? Are we using your tail as thread? Is that what's going on? Oh, I see. Yes. Your, my new bow tie, your tail. Do you want to come sit on my lap? Come here. Want to come sit on my lap? Come here, Ruby. Come here. Come sit on my lap. Oh. There we go. Go ahead and settle down. There we go. There's a good spot for the kitty. Yeah. All right. What color should we use next? Um, oh, we've got some more of this kind of yellow. Oh, no, we don't have more of that yellowish. Um, hmm. Oh, you know, I have this thread that is like multicolored. It's so like it kind of goes from one color to oh, you like my pants too. Well, I tried to match it to my to my vest. But thank you. So um, this one goes from like one color to another. This might be kind of fun. I wonder if I should could try doing a different texture maybe though or something. I could also, I have some like thinner needles here, and I could maybe do some of the beads that I couldn't fit on my other needle. Hello. I have a cute cat here who's very happy. Um, hmm, what color do I want to do? So I want, I could also do some more of that green on the back here, because I will need to. What are you doing? Twigs or leaves, maybe, with that thread. Oh, that's a good point. Um, could try doing that. I hadn't really planned to. Um, leaves, maybe. I was, because my thought was I want it to kind of look like there's just moss growing on it. So, like, you know, the, the bow tie got left a little bit too long and it just kind of, moss decided to grow on it. But maybe I could do something like that. I have to think on how I want to do that. I, I might have to look up how to do leaves because I don't remember. But some leaves might be cool. Um, 
out one way or another. Let me uh, pare this down. I usually just do like two threads at a time. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, let, me, let me think of that. Um, What are you, uh, are you guys working on any uh, fun projects at the moment? Not necessarily right this second, but like just like in your lives. Oops, totally just twisted this back together. You drawing now? Ah, so we're gonna see all of the uh, all of the cool folk, like pictures of your your last session. Excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> the rough sketch already is gonna be good. I, I am excited to see it. That'll I'm that'll be fun. Ah, I just got my finger stuck. Okay, there. Hello, I have a kitty cat here that wants uh, attention. Okay, let me. Like I could also do like some sort of different texture. Like I have a thicker. This is almost. This is like in between the thread and the yarn almost. That'd be kind of difficult to sew maybe, but. Could do something like that. It's kind of fun getting like the different textures and stuff in there, I feel like. I wonder if I can even get this through. Let me let me see if I can even get this. No, 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 that's mine. Let go. I wonder if I can even get this through. It's very thick. Yeah, this is, this is more, I don't know if this is a yarn or a rope. I don't know what you'd call this. I don't know my textile stuff. I don't do textile stuff. I do resin and soap and paint and stuff. Um, let me see. Let me see, yeah, let me see if I can even sew this through. If I can, that might make for some interesting texture. Ooh. Okay, let's do something with this. I'll come back to this yellow stuff in a moment. But let's try this really thick uh, green. See what I can do with it. Uh, Alright, let me cut that down so it's not quite as... Actually, uh, I might be able to cover that up. So I'm thinking for this, instead of doing French knots, I'm just going to do kind of like, it's thick enough, I'm just going to kind of go back and forth a little bit. Kind of like, go back in, Let's, let, we'll see how it looks on the back here. Hello kitty cat. She's, mm, yeah, just kind of doing like little, little tiny dots back and forth. Hello. Are you here to make it so that everyone can see what's going on? Why don't you lay down there? That's a good spot for you to lay down. I think maybe she got warm. Oh gosh. Alright. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try this for a little bit. Like I said, I like getting some different like textures and stuff in there. Part of the reason that I like, I've been enjoying doing like the beads and things. And some like felt. And doing a whole bunch of like... Um, French knots, but also trying to do like some different things with the thread too. I mean, not that much. Oh, that's okay. I do want to kind of try and yeah, I'm gonna try and kind of cover up the uh, loose threads here a little bit. I am making this up as I go along. If it was not, uh, you know, initially obvious to you all, I am very much just making this up as I go along. So I'm just going to kind of tack this down a little bit. And it'll be good. It'll add a little bit more um, texture even. All right. Yeah, these are... This is big enough that it's almost kind of ending up 
looking kind of uh, French knot-ish. Anyways, here, I'll see if I can show you kind of what's going on here. I'm going to scoot in now that there's not a cat on my lap. Like on this side, I'm just kind of going back and forth a little bit. Um, but it's a thick enough thread that it kind of ends up having sort of that French knot look to it just because there's so much thread it ends up in kind of like little little dots. I, I don't know how to explain. No, I don't need to do a French knot. Um, let's go this way. And we're gonna we'll we'll be going where am I? Go this way. This is just, I don't know. We're just chilling. We're just chilling tonight. It is, it is maybe a little bit uh, strange me trying to talk about my process considering I am just winging all of this. So, uh, you know, if you, if you came for, for a dedicated tutorial, I'm afraid this is the wrong place for that. Considering this is all just being made up as I go along. Mm, let's see here. I'm trying to angle things a little bit. So that... Hello. Yes, I know. You see the you see the string. Oh, I wonder if I have more of this. I might actually. You know, give me just a second. Um, this was just in my my little thing of thread here, even though it's kind of like a string. I think it's I don't know. I guess this would kind of fall under string. It's kind of not quite yarn. It's not quite thread. It's kind of in between. But I think I maybe if I have more. Uh, like a little bag here that has some yarn in it. It might have that in it too. Because I can, let me see if I've got more of that. I do have some yarn. Mm -hmm. Like I do have green yarn too. Let me, see, let me pull out some of this. Let me pull out some of the like yarn I have. Mm -hmm. Let me see what's in here. Let me see what's in here. Like, I do have, like, some thinner yarn, too. That now that I'm realizing that it will actually go through. <coughs> I do something with that. I think some of it, you know, might work a little bit better on the um, vest. Because I can do maybe some larger spaces um, a little bit quicker. Yeah, that's that's just straight up yarn in there but like I do have some like kind of thinner yarn hmm well, that might work but if I'm gonna be using it in the okay, let, me, let me put this away if I'm gonna be using it in the vest it might be good to have some of it in the bow tie too I don't want the bow tie to end up too I don't know how well you guys can hear me I don't want the bow tie to end up too like thick that would make it a little bit difficult to wear because it needs to bend quite a bit. Um, but I think that some of this, if I put it in the right spot, uh, might actually work out. Oh yes, you see yarn. Hello, would you like a ball of yarn? Would you like to... Uh, your tail is in my snacks. Okay, let's set these over here. No, 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 baby, baby, one, I'm trying to use that, two, it has a needle at the end of it, yeah, it has a needle at the end of it, it's not for you, all right, yeah, this is, this is somehow unsurprising, uh, Luna is the cat that I usually find the most annoying 
to be in the craft room. And she's an absolute sweetheart. And she actually doesn't get into as much other, like, she doesn't try to go eat all of my supplies and stuff like the other cats will. Or try to climb all the shelves. She, she'll do that a little bit. But the reason that she's so annoying in here is because she always has to be right in the middle of whatever I'm working on. Yes, you gotta be right in the middle of it all. Why are you doing that? Which is... Are you trying to eat my bow tie? I don't know why she does this. She has this thing where she'll just like start like gnawing on nothing. I don't know if she... It's an airplane. There's an airplane going by. She's been very skittish lately. I don't know why. You're okay, baby. Um, you've been talking about making dice, haven't you, uh, Omar? Isn't that something you were you were looking into at one point? I feel like maybe I asked you about this recently. And if I did, sorry. Um I feel like that was something you were talking about at one point. I'm curious how that how that is going. I'm always curious how people uh, making dice is going, I guess. Uh, weren't you talking about making dice at one point? I was just wondering how that was going. Or if that was something you were still working on. Or, was, or am I thinking of someone else that was talking about making dice? I don't remember. Sorry, are you watching 8 out of 10 cats? I should go watch that. Mm. It's been a while since I've watched a bunch of British panel shows, but I like British panel shows. Oh, right, The Masters. That's what it was. Right. Yeah, that is... Yeah. Did you ever get the um, figuring out if someone could polish them for you thing figured out? Oh, hello again. Long time no see. I'm going to, I finally like sanded down and polished my um, Jumbo Masters. But I'm going to throw them into the tumbler for a little bit. Because I am so bad at polishing things so that they don't have micro scratches. I always have micro scratches. Which is just unfortunate. It doesn't look great. Um, ugh, let me. And I see it's getting a little bit thick here. Hello. Hello. Yep. Come on. This is this is kind of what I mean about her having to be in the middle of everything, but. Seems, that seems like a good plan. Oh, hello. <laughs> Kitty cat. Kitty cat. All right. Is there like a particular thing that you want to try? Okay, you're just going to be my, my background now for, for sewing, I guess. That's what you've decided that you want to be, so it's what you're going to be. Oh, yes, that's not going to work out well. Didn't think this through very well, did I? I'm trying to get this in a location that was useful to me. That that's that's close enough. Oops, I totally just got that wound up and it fell out of where I needed it. There we go. Petries look super interesting. You want to focus on that more than anything. Oh, okay, cool. I am I I hope that <laughs> you can get it. Those that those are what give me the most trouble. But I've seen some beautiful ones out there, so, you know, 
it's exciting to me if it, I, I'm always like super impressed and like I always love a good petri just because I find them difficult to do I do want to get back into doing more um, like little scenes in dice personally I've talked about this too I did um, I think I just mentioned that I got my jumbo ones sanded right yeah I can show you so I've got I'll spring over the d20 this is what I this is what I I did today was got my my jumbo masters all like mostly polished up I still have lots of little they're not perfect like I don't know there's lots of micro scratches on them I'm gonna throw them into the the tumbler, like I said, that'll that'll help a lot with that. But dirty pours, I love doing. Um, uh, I think at least two of the sets in the pressure pot at the moment. At least, what was the third one? What was the third one that I did? Two of the sets in the pressure pot at the moment are are dirty pours. What was the third one that I did? Last night was one of those nights where it was just like I haven't really. Oh, you can't see, well, yeah, you can't see them there, but I'll, you know, I'll show, I'll show you once I get the light on it, you'll be able to see, let's see if I can get it, so they look nice and shiny, but let's see if I can get it so you can, ah, you can kind of see on the, on the face there, like, it's not super noticeable. You can kind of see some little scratches there. They actually look better on camera than they do in person. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I'm. I'm really. I'm not great at. at I'm not great at, at polishing. But that is part of the reason that the uh, the tumbler has been great. Um, that's actually something that. Uh, I don't know if frustrates is the right word, but it makes me kind of sad, I guess. Oh, you're making it so that people can't read the chat because it's black and they can't see it on your tail. Let me, uh, change this. Um, just a moment here. Okay. Um, something that, that makes me kind of sad is with the Galaxy Dice, which is one of the, the first types of dice that I made and the one that I try to keep in shock, stock, um, I can't put them in the, the tumbler. They don't work uh, if I put them in the tumbler. Um, and that's because of the way that I have the holographic glitter on there. If I put them in the tumbler, it gets rid of the holographicness of it because um, it's dusted on the outside of the mold. But it does mean that, like, they just aren't polished as well as all of my other dice. It's just like, oh, they're not, they're not quite as, as perfectly smooth. It just makes me kind of sad. Cause I feel like the, the quality of like the polishing and everything is just a lot nicer on all of my other sets of dice compared to, compared to the galaxy dice, even though the galaxy dice are, are pretty otherwise. I wish I could find a way to get those like super polished without um, affecting the holographic glitter on the outside. I just don't have a good solution because if I try to polish the sides that have the the glitter on them, it, it'll just get rid of the glitter. I suppose I could go back and try to um, suspend the glitter again instead of dusting it on the insides of the molds. Um, I I when I was first starting. Um, I, you know, I did a few different tests and I, it didn't, you know, the glitter didn't seem to suspend very well, but I also like know better now how to make it so that it can suspend. Um, I just need to wait until the, the resin's a lot thicker and then the, the glitter will stay, stay suspended a lot better. Um, but I don't know. I guess I could try that. Mm, pros and cons, pros and cons. But, I don't know, 
know. I, yeah, I want to figure out something to... Something. To, oh, I know what the other set is. The other set was a kind of an experiment with some of my uh, uh, scrap resin. You see how that turned out. I'm figuring it around nine, I think. Right here, I'll, uh, I'll tell you. Use this one of these. A, um, I'm trying to just stay here. This is how I test whether I'm ready to pull stuff out of the um, my tweezers. Here they are. The way that I test to see if things are ready to be pulled out of the pressure pot or not. So I take one of the mixing cups and I pull the resin out of it. And this is still kind of it, it sticks to itself quite a bit still. It's solid enough that I can pull it out of this cup, which means I could probably pull them out of the pressure pot now. But it's still rather stretchy and kind of sticks to itself. So it's honestly, you know, it's probably a little bit early at the moment. Um, I think I started last night at about 9. Um, oh, what did I make last stream? Um, I worked mostly on commissions, I think. Um, I did make, I think last stream I made this set of blue dice. Let me fold them over here. I think I made these on stream. Did I, I think, was it, were, were the blue ones, uh, one of the ones from last stream? I think so. I didn't actually post any pictures of these on, um, the Discord or anything, but I do have a set that's very similar to them already, like on my Instagram. Like this is a design that I've done before. There we go. I think I think these uh blue ones. And then what else did I do? Um I think I was I think I did the black and the pink. Um I redid these actually last night. They're in the pressure pot at the moment. Um the pink one turned out good. The black just kind of ended up looking black with the sparkles. It didn't end up being all swirled. And the pink didn't end up super swirled either. But I think that the ones that I put in last night should be better. Girly, no, don't lay down on it. Uh, and I can't remember what else What else did we do last stream. Um, here, wait, I might be able to look. What was, what was last stream? New pavements to play with. Um, what did I do? I don't remember exactly. No, oh, now you can't read chat again. This is the problem. See, I, there's not like a. I need like a good color for chat to be. Like. I've debated putting it like red, but I feel like that just makes it hard to read too. I could go like gray, but then that's just kind of uh, bright blue. Mm. We can go teal. There we go. We can go, we can go teal. That's super legible. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I almost feel like the, the colored text is harder to read. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But, um, yeah. Oh, that's really hard to see. Oh, no. We're not, we're not doing that. Um, I can go back to black. I can go back to black. I think, um, I did... Uh, I had it as white at one point because I found that even with the lighter colored background, like it it showed up on, with the lighter colored background a little bit, and then if anything got moved behind it, which happened because you know I don't pay attention, um, it would still show up. Perhaps I should set up some sort of um, what's the word? What is the word that I'm looking for? We're just doing we're just doing tests of uh, of the colors now. Um, 
what's like an overlay or something instead of just having the like two webcams have some sort of um like not background ish image necessarily but no I... oh we're back in black oh okay all right all right all right yeah 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 Um, wow. Uh, but to figure out some sort of, like, overlay or something so that I have, like, a dedicated box. Oh, Vince is back. Hello. A dedicated box for, like, the chat and my web, my, the, me. Is that a snake? <coughs> Hi. Are you not my molds again? What was that? You knock one of my molds off? Oh dear. I am I, I have an infestation of cats. Hello. <laughs> yes, hello. Oh hello buddy. It's the current pog champ emote. <laughs> That's fun. Or is it a velociraptor? Might be a velociraptor. Hello. Yes, are you here to try and steal my thread as well? I am so not culturally versed in the way of Pog. Like, it's one of those things where I don't really understand the context in which it's supposed to be used. It looks like a Velociraptor, yeah. I was thinking it was just like a snake at first. Because I always think of them as being able to like, take their, like, are you here to try and steal my paintbrush again? Like, uh, what's, what's the word? Uh, dislocate their jaws. That's kind of what it looks like. Okay, buddy. No, there's no paintbrush there. I, I moved the paintbrush because you kept trying to steal it. Come on. Hello. Come on. Come settle down somewhere. Yes, hello. Hello. Can I get some of that? Come on. Yes, hello. He probably wants me to go follow him. It just looked like the face he made after a purposefully bad shit. I mean, it really does just like, ha. Uh... Eh? Eh? You get it? You get it? Come on. Come sit in my lap. Come sit in my lap. Go settle down. Stop being in the way. Now he he has insisted that he must be in the way instead. Buddy, no one can see what I'm working on. Yes, hello. Oh, he's just over here head butting me now. You're so sweet. Oh, no, don't headbutt the needle. That's, no, no, don't headbutt my hands at the moment. They're a little bit busy. He, all of my cats very much like attention. They all like attention. I'm wondering if we'll see the, the, the last two at some point. Um... Get him down. All right, bye bye. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping this isn't too thick when I try to put it on. I think it might be okay. Um, yeah, the the only real concern that I have here is that since it's along the edge, when I try to bend it, there's enough material here that it'll get in the way. But I think we're gonna be okay. Like, we have beads over here, too, and I think it's not going to be any more of a problem than that. But I think I do need to add some more of the other stuff to the back here, or the front. I don't know which side that is. Um, I feel like that's starting to look pretty okay. I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to try and thread this up. Come on. I'm gonna try and get this. Ah, get it in. 
all the way kind of up. Yeah, there we go. I have it on the inside. I'm going to start adding some more of these kind of above. Oh, just a second. Ah. There we go. Kind of above the other ones. No, oh dear, buddy. Uh, you know, if only Boson was here, I feel like they would appreciate the fact that Fitz is trying to uh, eat, um, lick my, my uh, soap containers, the ones that I used to make soap. Uh, yeah. Buddy, I don't know why you like soap so much. He just likes eating soap, and I don't know why. It's not good for you. It doesn't he? It just, I don't know. You just like the bubbles? He's a very strange cat. Alright. Yeah, I, I try to keep him away from the soap. But it is an issue, um, like, he just loves bar soap. Like, if there's a bar of soap next to the sink, he will just, like, stand there and lick it. And I don't know why. It's one of those things where I, I have, like, I have a bar of soap in the upstairs bathroom, and I literally have, like, a cover over it so that Fitz can't get to it and lick it. I don't know why he likes licking soap, but he does. And it's just very strange. Very, very strange of him. And it can't be all that good for him. I don't know why he does it. I thought maybe it was just handmade soap um, for a while because, like, uh, I, I made soap. I haven't really recently. I haven't in quite a while. But uh, I made soap, and that was what was... He's a dirty mouth. It's all those swear words that he says all the time, yeah. Um, but, like, I, I made soap. And so I thought maybe he liked the, um, all the oils in it, because the way that you make soap is you mi mix a whole bunch of, like, oils and fats with lye. And you usually do it so that there's a little bit of extra oil and stuff in there, um, just so that it doesn't, like, dry out your skin and stuff, you, you know. Um, I thought maybe he liked it for, like, the extra oils. But, like, I had, like, an, a little bar of soap that I don't know where we got it but it was not a handmade bar of soap and he he seemed interested in trying to eat it as well so I don't know the way that he meowed last time uh I don't remember how did he meow? how did he meow what are you doing oh don't mess with that that's sharp and pokey you don't need the blackberry uh you're going to get sharp and pokey. You don't need the blackberry vine. Oh. You might be able to see the cat on the table behind me. Um, yeah. How was he meowing last time? Was he just, like, yowling? Because he does that sometimes if he's uh, not happy. You'd think that I treat my cats terribly with, with how loud they are. They're, they're very, very loud cats. Although, to be fair, they're mostly just loud when they want, um... It's hard to pick up on sarcasm in text. Oh, oh, right. Dirty Mouse. That, right, how he meowed last time. Yes. I'm, I, I never said that I was fast. I feel like I'm lost brain cells with age. I don't know, I didn't realize that that was completely possible, but I swear my brain works slower than it used to. You'd think that you'd... You'd think that I would gain brain cells with age, but alas, alack, it seems it was not the case. All right. I'm trying to get this kind of all the way up towards the top again. Um, and I'll see if I can show you. I'm adding like that light green, this this green right here, a little bit. 
Um, we're gonna be adding some more stuff on the back. This obviously isn't doesn't look quite as uh, finished as this side does, but I want it to get a little bit kind of. Uh, I want something up in like the corner here because I feel like the way that moss grows is it's gonna kind of grow from like the edges inwards, and so I want something in the corner here to kind of attach all of this to the side. And maybe it won't. Why are you trying to? What are you doing? That's pokey. You don't need the blackberry. Goody, you're gonna poke yourself. No, stop trying to eat the blackberry uh, vine. I already stabbed myself on this. You don't need to try and eat it. We're gonna move that out of the way. Why are you trying to eat a pokey blackberry vine? That's not what you want. I mean, it is what she wants, but it's not, not really what she wants. It won't be. It is at the moment. Oh, I feel like I've... Oh, dear. I completely just broke this needle. I, <laughs> I straight up broke this needle. Huh. Oh, isn't that interesting? Let me show you. I wiggled it too much, I guess. Let me, uh, yeah, uh, there we go. Look, I, I completely snapped this needle. Oh dear. Uh, do I have pliers somewhere? Uh, let's see if I can get this out without stabbing myself. What's your, uh, what's your good news, Jen? You're going to draw a comic page and, pa ooh, ooh, that's exciting. This is good news for us. Maybe not the perishing part, but the rest of it is good news for us. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go backwards. I'm actually going to just... I don't have pliers here, but I do have wire cutters. So I'm going to snip this. Ooh! That was not smart. I don't know where that just went. <laughs> uh oh. Um, well, huh. Well, it didn't hit you, and it didn't hit me, so I think we're okay. But I totally just snipped that, um, and don't know where that went. I heard it pinging around the room. Um,. Hopefully nobody ends up with a needle in their foot. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for that. <laughs> you guys are just written into each other's will as beneficiary of, of all of your dice. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just going to snip this. Here, and we're just going to tie this. And then we'll probably end up covering some of this up with a different color. Uh, that, huh. Alright, I'm going to have to figure out... Uh, I'll have to find a different needle, because that was the only one I had that had, like, the thickest, um, really thick... What is eye? I, or, I don't know, it, or... Not even the eye. It's probably my thickest needle, I guess. So, I don't know if any of the other ones would actually be able to deal with this, like, string. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just do that and put this off to the side for now. Or I'll, we'll go back to so something a little bit thinner, I think. Um, hmm. Oh, we could actually use that yellow now. Maybe we'll do some of that yellow now. Maybe we'll do something with some beads or something. Mm. No, I think we're just going to do a bunch more... Um... Oh, I don't know. I did that. I need the needle back. I'm trying to think. So, like I said, I like doing different textures and stuff. 
I feel like that's kind of part of what gives it interest. Different colors, different textures. Um, yeah. If I can get the thing threaded. Um, and so for this, it's like, do I want to do some sort of different texture? But at the same time, again, I don't want it to be too thick in this area. Uh -huh. So do I want to do more of the French knots, which do kind of build up a little bit. I already have quite a bit of stuff in this area already. Or do I want to try and do something different? Same thing with the beads. Same thing with the beads. It's like, if I, uh, if I do beads here, are they going to be a little bit too thick? But I'm going to start off with a couple of French knots. If I can, if I can get my needle to, this needle to work. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll do some French knots here just to get things started. It's a little bit of a tough spot to work in because there's all of the um, uh, uh, other thread that's kind of there. It makes it a little bit stiffer, which I think is part of what I ran into before um, with the, the last needle that I just broke. I kind of uh, wiggled it around a little bit too much and it kind of got stuck on some of the other um, thick thread that's here. I'm using the word thick a lot. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. All right. So we'll do, we'll do a couple of, of French knots at least to get this thing started. That thread is thick, yes, with two C's. I don't know how I feel about this. Let's get kind of, I'm trying to get kind of out of the area where all of that thicker thread is. And then I think it'll be a little bit easier to sew. There we go, okay. And then we can kind of decide what we want to do texture-wise here. I could do some more like, try and do some like loops and things. I could try to do some beads. But I could also just do some French knots. I could, uh, and to be fair, this space is maybe a little bit small at this point to do um, leaves, but I, at some point it might be kind of cool to add some leaves. Hmm. I'm going to eat a strawberry while I think on it. And drink some tea. Oh, here's the teacup that I chose for today. It's clear. Look, it's made out of glass. I thought that was fun. That's the one I was feeling. I went and looked at all my teacups and was just like, hmm, which one do I want to use? And that one, that one just stood out to me today for some reason. I don't know. I was just, just feeling the, uh, Clear glass teacup. I do, do look forward to having a tea party again at some point. There we go. Continue to get this out of where it's at with all the the light green. I think we're just gonna do some French knots, maybe. I could also just try doing some just flat little little tiny stitches too. Ooh, that actually might be a way to go. You've never been to a tea party? It's it's just fun. I don't know. It's just kind of something that like, I don't know, we've just kind of done for for fun. I, to be fair, my brother's the one that's really good at making food for, 
for tea parties. He's the one that, you know, makes the, the chocolate torte or the uh, finger sandwiches. Or He's very good at tea party food. Um, there was a, um, a couple that we know that were having like, I don't know, was, was it like their 40th wedding anniversary or something? Um, but my brother kind of ended up like catering for it. They had like a, like a, kind of like a garden party type, type celebration. This is a, a, obviously like a couple of years ago when, you know, we could actually see people. Those are so crunchy. But I do look forward to it. I just like tea and I like pastries and I like friends. Um, so it's just like the perfect combination. Oh, and I like dressing up. Oh, hello. Hello, would you like to come up? Want to come to my lap? We have our third visitor. Hello, third visitor. Ah, stuck in my vest a little bit. Hello. Yes, there we go. Our third visitor is the, the best at not getting in the way. She's happy to just sit on my lap. I say that and she'll probably start um, doing something to get in the way, just to prove me wrong. Like it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, I'm gonna try doing like a whole bunch of little tiny stitches, kind of like I did with the green, except this is much thinner. Um, and we'll see, we'll see how that looks. So kind of, we're just, we're literally just doing a whole bunch of just straight stitches. Uh, did that wrong. Although, yeah, did that wrong. Don't want to do that. This moment here I did my thread strangely. There we go. All right. <clears throat> I feel like a tea party is one of those things that like you can just do too. You could you could just have friends over for like tea and sandwiches, like just make a whole bunch of sandwiches. Uh make like a whole bunch of tea or a whole bunch of hot water. As long as you have like mugs or something. You know, like might might as might as well. You've had dinners, that's fair. I do miss that as well. I miss having people over for dinner. That is something that used to happen at my house quite often was like board game nights. My house was very much the, the board game night uh, house. Have everybody over for dinner and play, play a board game or D&D &D or you know, something like that. <clears throat> Hello Fitz, you're a little bit you're a little bit in the way, buddy. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Just move these scissors and you can lay down. Ah. Hello. Yes, do you see the thread? Ah, I'm overrun with cats again, it seems. You are a good kitty, not... <laughs> She's still just sitting on my lap here. Although now she seems to be eyeing my thread, which, uh, maybe I, I shouldn't have. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, Fitz, what do you think you're doing? Is a cat party? It really is a cat party. Yeah, she seems very interested in what I'm working on. Fitz, no! Fitz? No. Careful. You need to get kicked out? Do you need to get kicked out? 
No. No. Down you go. Hello, not. Sorry, you're okay. No. Stop trying to steal my plants and bugs. <laughs> Those are mine. All right, we're good. Everything is back to being good. Look, I still have a cat on my lap too. Can't see her very well, which is perhaps unfortunate, but. Yeah, I feel like this definitely kind of does a different texture, which is what I was going for here. So that's, that's good. minutes I think we'll pull things out of the pressure pot. I, th If I remember correctly I put them in about probably 11-ish last night. I don't remember exactly um, but it was probably around 11 o'clock-ish because I think I started probably around 9 um, and really really it's it, it seems to work the best if I take things out about 24 hours after I put them in, but like I can get away with doing it like about four hours earlier than that. Ow! I just poked myself. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, this is this is kind of coming together. I'm not doing French knots at the moment. I'm kind of just doing like little tiny, little tiny uh, stitches. Not French knot ones, just the, I don't know, what are these called, straight stitches? I don't even know. I think, let's try and get a little bit more. I'm trying to make it maybe a little bit thicker at the top here, just to try and connect it a little bit more. Um, kind of want it to go over, I think, a little bit more. And then I think we will try this out and see how it's looking. Um, I do still need to do more on this side here. This side is starting to look a lot more connected though, just kind of up here, which is what I wanted. Uh, I wanted it to be more along where the crease is gonna be, and I wanted it to be more connected to the corner here. So hopefully, that's how things are shaping up. Seems to kind of be. All right. There we go. Oh. I should start figuring out what I want to paint next, too. Uh, I did finish kind of the last painting project that I was working on, which was the uh, the crow painting. Uh, I did post a photo of that in the in the Discord. Uh, and we, we started that on stream together at one point. I feel like that'd be nice for some, some Saturday. You know, technically, like, the way I kind of, like, the way I kind of technically have it set up was that, like, Wednesdays were my uh, dice days, working on, like, commissions and stuff. And then Saturdays were kind of, like, a free day or, like, an experiment day. Like, we just work on something different than, than resin, or we'd try out something new with resin. Hasn't necessarily ended up uh, completely that way, just because I've ended up, um, you know, doing lots of commissions, <laughs> really. That's really what it comes down to. I've ended up doing a lot of commissions, and so I've ended up doing um, commissions on Saturdays as well, just to, to get them done. But, uh, you know, I do, I do want to do some projects that aren't resin. So I should start figuring out what I want to paint next. I'm thinking maybe something um, abstract or just something con like conceptual. 
something that's like just color and shape based. Um, just because, you know, that's, that's fun. I, I enjoy doing like still lifes and stuff, but there's something relaxing about just sitting back and putting a bunch of random colors on a canvas. Um, and to be fair, I, it's not usually all that random. Like I do usually have some sort of plan or something, face paint. I mean, that's always fun. Um, it's been a while since I've done random, random face paint. Um, that, that's definitely, that would definitely be random. That's something I used to do for, for fun a lot, was just uh, take, so I don't really wear makeup. Um, I've done like theater and stuff, and I do think that like some makeup's fun, but as far as, as makeup goes, I don't, I don't really wear it in everyday life or anything, but um, like I, that is something that I've, I've done for fun in the past, is just like go and do ridiculous stuff with makeup on my face. Like there, there, there is something fun about that. Just finding all of the bright colors and seeing what I can do. Um, it's been been a long while since I've done that though. I do like lipstick. Lipstick's kind of fun. I like doing fun colored lipstick. But that's just because it's fun. I like colors. Colors are pretty, you guys. I like colors. Um, I have a series of paintings I did a while back that aren't particularly like pretty. They weren't really supposed to be, um, but they all kind of, uh, they were more conceptual things than anything. Like the point of them was to try out uh, and see what I could do with the canvas. Um, I should have a photo of them on the phone somewhere. I just showed it to someone recently. So I should have a photo. Here, let me find it. Mm. And these are from a while ago, but I put them up on the wall fairly recently. Uh, and it's possible I've shown a photo of them before. Let me... Still scrolling, 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 scrolling. Ah, here we go. Um, excuse me, kitty cat. Uh, oh, so I did these a long while ago. Let's see if it'll, if it'll uh, focus. There we go. I did these a long while ago. And like the point of them was not necessarily to be pretty, but I wanted to try a whole bunch of different things to see what I could kind of do with the canvas. And so I kind of want to do maybe some something a little bit bigger and maybe a little bit prettier that involves some like manipulation of the canvas itself. So either cutting holes in it, sewing into it, something like that. Because that's the kind of stuff that I, I really enjoy doing. I enjoy doing like the multimedia stuff or the stuff that involves changing the canvas in some way. Um, the middle right one. Oh, is that the one with the... This, the gray circle, the one with the, the, oh, the, one with the, the gray circle and the, all the colors. Yeah, um, and it's actually fun. Um, you might not be able to tell in that photo, but the circle is partially cut out too. <laughs> but where are you going, kitten? I don't know where she's going. She tries to eat my resin scrap. She's getting picked up and moved. That's the thing she seems to try and do. No! Like that! Get back here! No! Oh. I was trying to bring her over so you could see. But she just picked this up in her mouth and tried to run away with it. You don't need resin scrap! No! That's not for you. There. Come sit on my lap again. Oops, your claws are stuck. That's my hand. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Uh, I mean, I could set up some sort of still life, too. And I actually haven't worked in oils since the um, painting class that I took that ended back in, like, May of last year. So it's been, like, a year since I've used oil paints. So it might be fun to do something with those. Um... So that's always those that's always op an option too, but I don't know, may maybe something a little bit abstract, just so we can just I don't know, sit around and put some co colors on a canvas. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on it. I have, I don't know. I have um, a big canvas that I. Oh, my friend, I told them that I would do a painting for them. So maybe we'll work on that. And we want something abstract. Um, I'll have to figure out what all colors they wanted because they wanted some specific colors. But um, that, might be, that might be an option, actually. Maybe we'll work on a painting for my friend. I'll have to, have to message them so they can come hang out and watch. Hello, kitten. Where are you? What are you sniffing for? She seems to be sniffing around. Oh yes, did you find the wool? She's checking out all of the uh, the sewing materials here. You just come over here. Why are you trying to steal the the bag of wool? No, you don't need the wool. Ah, she seems very interested in the wool now. Right, I'll move it over so you can see. This is this is what all, would always happen with like fits too. Try to try to steal the wool out of the bag. Yeah, that's how this bag ended up like this. Okay, this is gonna go back in the in the drawer for now, just so that it's a. Uh, out of the way and not getting you got goop by your eyes. It's out of the way and not getting eaten by cats. Carly! No, get your claw out of my bow tie. You put a run in it. That's okay. You're very good at get your claw out of my bow tie. You're very good at putting runs and things. You know that cat? Pretty sure that you're the reason that there's a Let's see, you're a reason that there's a hole in my sock, one of my socks. I'm pretty sure you're a reason that there's a couple of runs in one of my pairs of pants. Her claws tend to get caught in things. I don't know why necessarily, but they do. Probably because she's always clawing at everything. Oh, gosh. Ah. Get my needle in here. All right. I think we've almost got this yellow kind of figured out. Not figured out, but we've got it like almost done. I mean, almost used up. It might have something to do with it, yeah. The fact that she's always clawing at things. Hello. I'm just moving your tail over. Look, it's a tail. <laughs> she just bit her own tail. Of course, then she tried to attack. No! Get your claws out of my bow tie. Get your claws out of my bow tie. Yes, I know, I know. You see the bow tie over here. Excuse you. I'm just going to try and cover that with my hand a little bit. Ah, I failed. All right. Try to let go of my, okay, you're moving. You're gonna get moved. You're gonna get moved. Yep, you're gonna get set down this way. So you're facing the other direction. There we go. Out of sight, out of mind. What do 
are you trying to eat? Is that piece of like a plant? I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in that, that Kit Kat brain of yours sometimes, you know? I feel like it's just kitten nonsense. That is a pair of scissors that you're trying to eat. You do not need to eat scissors. Oh my goodness. You do not need to eat scissors. Here, go up there. Yeah, go up on the shoulder. <laughs> oh dear. You're usually the one that's like the least in my way. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so we'll pull things out of the pressure pot here in a moment. Let me just finish using up this yellow thread here, and I'll, I'll make sure that... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go look at the uh, resin over here that came out of the cup, and we'll see how it's looking uh, as far as uh, doneness goes. Mm, I think I can do one more. No, maybe not. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this, we're going to tie it off. That it, that's kind of, that is kind of one of the nice things about this is that I don't really have to try and hide all of the loose ends too. Um, I guess if you're doing like something one-sided it, it's not a big deal either, but like if there's a little bit of, of thread just kind of sticking out, it's really not noticeable with all the other stuff that's just kind of sticking out. Okay, let me let me cut that. All right, I'll put this back in here so I don't lose it. I'm almost. I think we're almost done with the bow tie. I think I need to add some more stuff to the back here. Otherwise, we're we're almost done. Let's see, how's this feeling? Okay, this is this is the uh, stuff that I just pulled out. It's feeling, I think, better. The other way that I kind of tell is you can kind of you can hear that that cracking sound there, um, and that's usually a good indicator that it's getting to the point where it's uh uh what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, solid enough, I guess. So, yeah, solid's a good word. Usually, like if it's kind of, can, if you can like bend this and it kind of makes a cracking sound, that's usually a good indicator that like it's solid enough to start making a cracking sound. It's still a little bit kind of sticky-ish. It's not sticky, but like it sticks to itself a bit. It's still somewhat malleable, but it should be good enough to get out of the pressure pot. Let me um, grab a couple things. Grab our container of extra resin. I am going to mute this for just a moment while I let the air out of the pressure pot because uh, it is kind of loud. Just give me just half a as I knock my teeth up here. Just give me just half a second and I will bring over the tray with all the stuff to unmold. I also just totally scared, I just totally scared Luna. Oh, it's okay, baby. Oh, it's okay, I know. It's just, I know there was a weird hissing noise. I'm just getting stuff out of the pressure pot. All right. kind of the, I don't know, I feel like this is the most fun part, almost, unmolding stuff and seeing how it turned out. So, let's see. Let's see how things from last night turned out. Uh, I think some of these ones on top are just, um, yeah, this is just like leftover resin in a, a D4, but that's okay. Yeah, this is all sorts of leftover Spare, spare resin in this D4. It's kind of a dark purplish color. Put that down. D4 up. Okay. Let's 
start. Okay, so here's a D12. This should be one of the rainbow dirty pours that I poured last night. I, I never quite know how these are going to turn out. I feel like they usually turn out well, but... Ah, excellent. Look at all those colors. Excellent. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. I did it kind of two different ways. So, um, I found... Uh, let me do 12 down. Um, I, I, I have done um, dice like this before where I put all, like I do black resin. Uh, it kind of is. Um, that was what I was just about to, to uh, say. So um, the melted crayon dice and the Feywild dice that I've done um, were exactly the same technique and the same colors, except that in the, oh, which one was which? I don't remember which one was which. One of them I poured from the purple side first so I went, you know, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. One of them I poured from the purple side first, and one of them I poured from the pink side first. And I think this might be... This time, one set I poured from the pink side first, and the other one I poured the pink and the purple kind of, like, sideways at the same time. This might be one of the ones where I did, like, the pink and the purple kind of sideways. Which, honestly... If it is, I'm really happy with that. Um, I see this one ended up, this one ended up a little bit, maybe more modeled. I, I don't know if that's the right word. Modeled, maybe not the right word, but maybe it'll focus. There we go. Yeah, the colors are a little bit more mixed together on this one. Uh, it is going to be a fun time trying to figure out which ones are which. It, I guess it doesn't really matter, it's all the same colors and everything, but... I did also switch things around a little bit. I, um, for a long time there, I was doing all of these sorts of dice, the Dirty Pour dice, with the highest number on the top, because the top number usually ends up looking kind of different from the other numbers. Um, but, I don't know, I, I realized I don't know if I realized recently, but I just kind of decided recently that usually the side that's up also ends up looking like not as nice as the other ones. Ah, uh, yeah, see this is I think probably one of the like fey wild type ones, maybe. This is very much just kind of purplish for the most part. So some of them that like mixed more than others. Um, and so for these, I decided that I'd do the highest number down just because yeah, it just, uh, the, I want the higher numbers to look better, and I feel like the number that's down usually ends up looking better. Okay, here's the other D10. Alright, well, if you don't drop it somewhere. Mm, yeah, I think I'm, I think maybe I think maybe this might be the set where I did the purple and the pink. Like I did everything kind of at the same time. I'm not positive though, but I think maybe it might be. It's something I'm gonna have to definitely try again. I should have found a way to kind of um, mark which was which, but that, that's okay. I was thinking it might be kind of obvious, but I don't know. Ten down. Yeah, some of these, some of these are, uh, they're dark, okay. Um, so there was, there's two sets, um, of dirty pores with these colors and everything in here. Um, and then there's gonna be one other set of, uh, of a set, like a, one other seven piece set of dice. Yeah, see, I, I can, think I can kind of tell. Like, these ones all seem to be kind of pur mostly purple. I don't remember, I think I did the pink first, actually, which is what, uh, how it ended up purple, but that seems strange. I suppose those ones ended up more rainbow. 
I think I think I'm going to try this again at some point doing all of the colors at the same time because I think maybe that's the one that ended up more rainbow and I really like that. I really like the ones that are very rainbowy. Me liking colors? No. Nah. Oh, interesting. Although actually this one might be this one might be one of the ones that was um at the same time because it looks kind of half and half ish so i don't know i'm gonna have to we'll see how the other d6 looks wow this this mold is so d dyed now you can see if I, see if you can see it's kind of hard to see at the angle but there's all sorts of oh here you can probably see on the lid better yeah there you go you can kind of see how much it dyed the uh the mold itself <laughs> should be okay it's mostly like soaked in and stuff but but still. Oh, here's another D4 with leftover resin. So I tried two different um, black D6s this time to try and get the this D4 up to try and get the swirl effect that we wanted. So let's actually look at those. Uh, ooh, ooh, they ended up with some bubbles in them. That's not great. I might be able to fill those in, but still unfortunate. They ended up with some surface bubbles here. I think part of that is maybe my uh, pressure pot didn't stay pressurized that much. So to try and get more swirls this time, I poured the resin after it was pretty thick. Um, in, in hopes that it would keep the the mm, yeah I maybe pulled these out a little bit early too that could be part of the reason that it's it's causing some bubbles here um yeah I might have pulled these out a little bit early should be okay ah I think this one might be the way to go these ones definitely ended up with more swirl in them which is good. Uh, this one is maybe a, this one's maybe a little bit more gray than black. Let's see if I can show you the kind of swirl in them, though. So last time they just ended up kind of oops, a solid black. There's a little bit more. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit more kind of a swirl to them. Um, so that is good. We'll see if I end up having to remake this though. Yeah, they ended up with some surface bubbles, which I'm not happy about. I might end up having to remake remake uh, the black one, but at least I have a better kind of recipe for the black this time. So the black I did last time, I kind of did a mixture of two different blacks. Um, one of them didn't have a lot of um, shine to it, and the other one was rather sparkly, and they kind of just ended, it kind of just ended up looking like a sparkly black dye really wasn't what we were going for um but that ended up a lot more swirls which is great okay so the other set that i did i wanted to mess around with some of the um oops shouldn't have done that what what hello you want up let's move this back a little bit come on there's a kitty cat come here you want up all right, come on. There we go. Um, I wanted to try and try some stuff out with the like all of the like spare resin here, and so I had some that I had cut up, and I had tried this before, and I did so much that it kind of got a lot of air bubbles and stuff trapped. Uh, I think this is going to be better. Ooh, careful, careful, balance. Oh, she's purring a little bit. Um, let me see if I can show you here. No, stay on the shoulder. I need my arm. Um, there's a whole bunch of like purple resin that um, I ground up into little pieces. Oh, this is making things difficult. Come here. Come sit on that. No, these aren't for you. These aren't dice for you. Um, it was kind of ground up into little pieces. Okay, nope, you're going down. I can see that you want these dice. You're not getting these dice. 
I'm gonna show you the, the one just because it's easier. The other side has some stuff on it. So I ground it up into like little pieces. Um, it's mostly purple. There's some blue, there's some pink. And I have a little few iridescent flakes and stuff in there. It does not want to focus. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now you can see. It has all sorts of little, just little bits in it. And that actually turned out. So that's exciting. Uh -huh. There's also cat hair here now. Okay, D12 up. Um, oh, this is another spare die with some, some leftover resin. I should have done some more crystals, but I didn't. I wanted a couple of other spare dice as well. That's okay. Ooh, that's kind of fun. This is a mix of, of black and then um, the rose gold, which is kind of fun. I actually like those colors together. I should do something. I should do like a swirl of like the black and the rose gold. I really like that. Maybe that's something I'll have to do at some point. Just a, a like a black shimmer and like a rose gold shimmer mixed together. Or I could even just do like a solid black and then the rose gold. Mm, I don't know. Either of those could be pretty. Uh, it does take a minute to unmold everything. I went and um, measured how long it takes to do stuff at one point. I can't remember how long, how long did it take to unmold things? Like I went and measured like every step of the, the process at one point to see like how long does it make me take me to make a set of dice from start to finish. And like the what I finally came up with was that it takes me three hours minimum. Yeah, like a black and rose gold swirl, like because I like I like how this kind of turned out because it really kind of highlighted the gold where they overlap a bit. So I feel like, I don't know, it just feels very classy somehow. The rose gold and the black. Um, you can really kind of see the, the gold on this side here. Like, I should, I, I should do a full set that has like the black and the rose gold. I don't know if I, maybe, maybe half and half like that so that, you know, I can make sure I get some of that pink but still have some of that overlap. But yeah, something something with both of those colors together, I think that'd be nice. Let's pull these out. These are for um, a couple of commissions, a couple of keychains for commissions. Oh, I didn't even think about how that was gonna turn out, but that's okay. Um, this one may look familiar to Jen. If they're still here. No, he never wants to focus. Is she here? Anyways, there's, yeah. I need to, I have everything else uh, sanded for this one. I'm just gonna go into the uh, tumbler tonight, probably. But there's the, there's the keychain to go with it. And then this is actually the keychain for the black and rose gold, so. Yeah, I, I like the black and the rose gold together. I should definitely do Something with the black and the rose gold. So that is that is definitely definitely a thing that should happen. Um, let's see. Where is the rose gold one? Nope, that's not it. It's another one of the purple. So I think the goal for tonight is to try and finish the bow tie. So I think we're we're almost done. I think we're pretty much done with this side. Things are attached now. I think I just want to kind of get some more things kind of attached on the, over here and then get some of this filled in here. I think we'll call it good. I think that should be everything done. Um, we'll see if we get that far. But I think I think that's kind of the goal. Um, that's the thing with this ongoing project is like we could just keep working on this indefinitely. Who knows? Uh, ooh, I think this rose gold will maybe have uh, swirled a little bit more. So that's exciting. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. This has some more swirls than last time. Let's see if I can get it so you can see. 
You can see the uh, that shimmer in there. Yeah, I think that one's good. That one's definitely good. So we've got we've got our keychain and our, our rose gold there for sure. I think I might end up remaking the black, um, just because unfortunately, you know, these ended up with a whole bunch of surface bubbles, um, which like if there's like one or two, usually I can fill them in, but there's all you know, I'm not infallible. I'll show you my my errors here. You can see there's lots of surface bubbles on these, so uh, I'll probably remake these. These will go in my, I don't know, uh, spare dice box. They should still be usable. I could still fill them in, but I don't really want to do that for, like, commission, probably. You know, I want my commission ones to be good. I want all of my dice to be good, but, like, I don't know. I, I want my, my commission ones to be, like, perfect. Which isn't necessarily an achievable goal, but... Um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like with the pre-made sets, people can see exactly what they're buying, um, and with the commissions. So like, if there's if there's a surface bubble or something, I can put that in the listing. But with commissions, there's a certain amount of expectation and of of things being as good as they can possibly be um, when you're ordering. So I, I, you know, those are ones where I could probably fill in the surface and I might still use them for some sort of other set or put them in my spare dice box. Oh no, sad. That's okay. I think maybe I could fill that in with some more resin. Yeah, see this, this happens to me every once in a while too. It's just unfortunate. Look at there's a big air gap there. I think I can fill that with some clear resin. I'm gonna put this off to the side. It's a D20. Let's see how... Ah, it's stuck to my hand. Let's see how this one turned out. Oh, wow. Well, that has kind of a different vibe from all the other ones, even. Look at that one. Isn't that rainbowy? This is why I like Dirty Pores, though. Like, you never quite know what you're gonna get. Like, you can kind of know, but you never quite know. Always a little bit of a surprise. It is, I don't know, I like Dirty Pours. Dirty Pours are one of my favorites to do. They're just, they're just fun. Like, there's always a certain amount of, of randomness that comes with it. They're one of the ones where I feel like I'm actually pretty good at them. Oops. Nope, I don't want resin in my snacks. Get out of my snacks. Okay. Ah. It's just the other D20. It actually ended up quite colorful as well. I mean, not quite as colorful, quite as colorful, but there's definitely still a lot of color in there. But I don't know. I like I like doing dirty pores. I like doing other ones too. I'm slowly compiling um, a sort of list of dice that I want to bring back or try to have regularly in my shop. Um. And I have the galaxy dice, which are like the first dice that I ever really did. Um, try to keep those, I, at the moment I try to keep those fairly regularly stocked in my shop. Um, I kind of want to do, like, I think I kind of want to try and make the sunrise dice uh, that I've done. They kind of go from like a shimmery, like yellow, all the way to like a translucent blue. Kind of a transition. I think I kind of want to have those in my shop. Ooh, that's pretty. I think, yeah, these ones are kind of brighter, so I think I'm going to put them together. Don't know on that one yet. Still quite a few bright things over there. And, um, D8 down. Sorry, let me put these in the right spot. Uh, and then uh, I think I want to do maybe some sort of rainbow um, dirty pour. And... To be fair, part of the reason that I want to do the Galaxy and the Sunrise dice is because they seem to be kind of a, a favorite. Like, um, the Galaxy dice I get, um, 
like the last like two times I've run out of them in my shop, I've had like at least one person message me to ask if they'd be back in the shop. Um, so like, you know, I feel like that's something that people definitely want. Okay. And then the, um, the Sunrise Dice also had a, a pretty good response to them. But like the Rainbow Dirty Pour ones, I kind of just want in my shop, like, because I really like them. <laughs> like the other two, you know, I'm thinking, you know, it'd be good for, because other people like them. But like the Rainbow Dirty Pour ones, I just really like. So I'm gonna make more of them. <laughs> But I think it, it, you know, at the moment I'm kind of making a whole bunch of different things uh, every month, month, which is fun. That's 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 part of the reason that I have it like that. It's because that's just fun to do. It's fun to do something slightly different um, every time. And I'm I'm trying to figure out ways to keep myself entertained too, um, just because my schedule has gotten a little bit repetitive at this point. You know, I'm making dice, I'm sanding dice. You know, it'd be good for me to do something that's a little bit out of the norm. Um, I should really start figuring out some, some maybe some other stuff to, to make or something. But, uh, I don't want resin in my snacks or my tea. Get out of, okay, just a second here. I think we're good. I don't think I actually have any resin in my tea. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, it could be useful to me, uh, if, oops, if I, um, had some sets that I could just make in, like, larger batches. Um, yeah, actually, I've been, I've been thinking about doing some soap making again, and I should get back into that. Uh, I need to figure out what exactly I want to make. Like, it'd be good probably to make something kind of fantasy related maybe um kind of keep it in brand with my my shop um part of the reason that i haven't been making soap is because um it just hasn't sold and it has a shelf life so like the dice that i make if they don't sell you know i can hold on to them indefinitely you know maybe i'll list i'll list them again sometime in the future that sort of thing but with soap there's just you know if it doesn't sell in, I don't know, six months to a year or something, I don't really want to keep it up in the shop, just because it does have a shelf life to it. Um, but I do think that maybe some fantasy themed soaps might be fun. Um, that might be, might be fun to try and do on stream at some point too. That might require a little bit more setup on my part, because like soap making, I do definitely spend like a couple hours just like sitting around watching YouTube videos on my phone while I wait for everything to heat up and cool down to the correct temperatures. So I might I might want to get some of that stuff set up preemptively. Um, size number D4 up. But that still could be something to try and do on stream at some point. Um, if you if you guys have like ideas for like a soap or something that you would like to see or ever if you guys ever have ideas for things you'd like to see in my shop or you have something that you would like to make like a special request for like just you know message me or hit me up or something um i'll let you know if i can't do it or you know anything like that but i'm usually pretty pretty down for making stuff uh, D10 up. But yeah, um, I did, you know what I could do? I could make some silicone, oh, my jumbo dice. Oh, you know what I should, oh, that's what I should do. Okay, I should make a set of silicone molds that are the jumbo dice. Um, and then... I wonder if I could do it with the lids. Mm, maybe not. I should do uh, make a set of silicone molds out of like my jumbo dice masters, and use those for making soap. I could make dice soaps. That's something I could do. Um, 
Yeah, that's something I could absolutely do. I'd need to... So the thing, the other thing with soap is that, so there's, there's different kinds of soap. Actually, that might work better with melt and pour. Uh, there's different kinds of soap. And the kind that I make is the one that involves... Uh, let me put this over here. Involves mixing uh, oils and lye together. Um, and the thing is, really the smallest amount of soap that I can make at a time is about two pounds. About two pounds of soap, which is about ten bars of soap. But that does... Two, four, six, seven. Like, like I said, there's a shelf life and stuff. But see, that's the other thing is that three, four, two, uh, if I was going to try and make, oh, that one over there. If I was gonna make like dice soap, I'd have to keep in mind how much soap it's gonna make. Okay, I'm gonna move these over here so they're a little bit out of the way and have a good spot to kind of cure. But, because these are not fully cured yet, but rainbow dice, rainbow dice. Um, yeah, so like even, even doing like a set of jumbo dice out of soap, which I think could be really cool. I wonder how many grams of soap that would be, or ounces actually, ounces is how I measure things. I'd have to have a lot of molds, basically. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it takes time to make molds, because, like, you know, I can only make one set of molds at a time when it comes to, like, a set of... I can only make one set of dice molds at a time, because I only have one set of masters. Like, for the soap, I might do uh, molds that don't have a lid to them. Uh, so they might just not have a one, because I don't know how well if those would work with having, um, yeah, I don't know how well the soap would work if it had a lid. Uh, it, it actually would probably be okay. So part of the reason that the lids can be an issue is because, you know, air escaping and stuff. Oh, but no, I probably need, uh, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking on whether I'd have lids on them or not. Uh, Have a mystery dye included? Well, it depends on the kind of soap that I'm making. I don't know how well that would work with cold process soap. Um, I would assume that most of that is going to be... You mean like inside of the, the bar of soap? I think most of those are probably melt and pour soap. Um, so there's different kinds of soap. Hang on a second. Oh, candles that have mystery dye. Yeah, I've seen candles with like dice in them. To be fair, I could do that too. I do actually have the stuff for making candles. Um, I do actually have the stuff for making candles, too. I, uh, got a bunch of that stuff from my dad at one point, because he was doing it, I think, with his students. He got a bunch of candle-making stuff for doing it with his students, and then ended up not doing all of it. But, um, so, I'd, I'd have to figure out some temperature stuff. I don't think it would work with the kind of, if I was going to put it in this kind of soap that I make, I don't think it would work out well, um, just because um, the kind of soap that I make gets very, very hot. Um, I think, is it 150 degrees Fahrenheit? You know, I want, I want my, no, I think it's about 150. 20. That's part of the reason, like, I used to lie and stuff, which is, you know, you wear, you want to wear good safety equipment and stuff, but uh, it gets very, very hot. Alright. Still cat hair everywhere. Yeah, there's lots of stuff. We could, yeah, I could do candles, I could do soap. There's options. I just need to, like, actually take the time to figure out what I want to make. Like, I've been so focused on dice that I haven't really taken the time to think about doing anything else. I think I kind of want to, so maybe that's something I will add to. Maybe that'll be a Tuesday thing. Let me see what I have on my schedule for Tuesday. Where we're taking a short break from uh, 
embroidery to uh, figure out Liz's schedule, I guess. What have I got on Tuesday? Oh, well, I have. Let's, let's put my things there. Those are. Okay. Um, plan new items. And I'm going to put soap? Question mark. Candles? Question mark. Jewelry? question mark because like there's I, I you know I have some ideas for like jewelry and stuff too that I'd like to do yeah okay but yeah I see uh, yeah so but yeah there's like two different kinds of soap mountain pour is like a pre-made soap um, it's usually like clear and that sort of thing um, and you, you can melt it either in like a double boiler or uh, in a microwave. Okay, this is still a little bit all thready. Uh, or, a, or, or a microwave, you melt it down and you can add your colorants and stuff to it. And you pour it into the molds and you wait, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes. I don't know how long it takes to usually uh, harden. You just wait for it to cool down and it'll harden into its shape. Um, and then the kind of soap that I make is cold process soap. I do have some melt and pour soap, but the kind of soap that I make is cold process soap, um, which is opaque, um, it's not translucent, uh, like melt and pour can be, and uh, it's, you, you figure, you mix some, a whole bunch of oils and fats together, and different oils and different fats do different things, um, depending, and then you mix that with lye and water, um, which is, sodium hydroxide, which is a very strong base, NaOH, yeah, it's a very, very strong base, um, which can cause chemical burns, <laughs> if you get it on your skin, don't do that, um, and it goes through a process called saponification, did I add sugar to this? I don't remember if I added sugar to this or not, I don't think I did, um, which, uh, turns it into soap. So the, the lye reacts with the oils and the fats, and it turns into soap. My tea has gotten rather cold. Um, the thing is, though, so soap, the, the cold process soap, is similar to dice. Yeah, well, I'm, while I'm talking, I should start figuring out what I want to add next. I think probably a little bit more dark green. Kind of here-ish. The similarity between... Um, do this green. Let's do this. Some of this green. Yeah, the the similarity between resin and cold process soap. Besides, you know, there, you, you know, you can do dirty pours in both. You can you can do different swirls techniques and stuff. But um, you never really know how it turns out until 24 hours later. You have to let both of them like cure overnight before you can either cut into your log of soap or uh, pull the stuff out of the molds. Uh, but, um, where was I going with this? I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, that first, that first 24 hours. So, you actually have to let cold process soap cure for four to six weeks before it's usable. Fun fact. Um, <laughs> that's the other kind of downside of soap. It's like, you can't use, it, the cold process soap, you can't use it right away. Um, the, the melting pour you can. But the cold process you can't really use right away. You gotta wait four to six weeks for everything to cure completely. But, um, uh, what was it going with this? What was I going with this? Oh, that first 24 hours, it gets rather hot. Um, especially depending on what you put in it and things. But, uh, yeah, it can get rather, rather warm. Um, I can't remember. I think you want your um, soap and oils to be below 150 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's the threshold. You want them to be within like 10 degrees of each other and below 150 degrees Fahrenheit when you mix them together. Um, just for a frame of reference of, of how hot the lye gets because you're heating up your oils and you're waiting for your lye water to get cool enough to be below 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, otherwise, you know, it can cause all sorts of problems, but, um, yeah, uh, 
and actually depending on what you're doing sometimes you want it to get really hot uh like uh for certain colorants it can make the colors really pop but for other things like it can get rid of certain scents if it gets really hot or um i've done soap that has honey in it if you add sugar to um your soap it can get very very hot um, and the problem with doing like honey and stuff is that it can burn which the soap's still usable but here i can actually grab i actually have some soap sitting over here that i never actually put up in the shop i should have but let me, I have some honey soap here, Oops. Mm, I do like honey soap. Um, so here's some honey soap that I made. Um, and you can see how it's darker on the inside. And that is where the, it got very, very hot on the inside and the honey and the sugars and stuff started to like crystallize because of how hot it got. And it's still perfectly usable and everything. Um, it actually makes for a really good hard bar of soap, but, um, like this, I put in the freezer for 24 hours. I had it in my, my loaf mold and I went and put it in the freezer and it's still, still discolored and stuff, but you know, that's a, that's a special case. That's kind of a special case where I added stuff that I knew was going to make it hotter. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll have to make soap on, on stream at some point. But again, I, I want to figure out something that people are actually going to want. That's that's literally like the only reason I stopped making soap was because it just wasn't selling. Um, I've said before I might start making some soap again if once I can do like holiday bazaars or farmers markets or something. Because that's kind of like I um, I had sold soap at like a local holiday bazaar type thing before. Um, that was fun, but. Um, I, that's part of the reason I never really expected my dice to sell. Um, when I, I, the, I went and put like, um, I had, I've had an Etsy shop for a couple years, like a couple years. Um, and then I actually, and I had some soap on there. Um, I hadn't really done any marketing or anything, but, you know, it was there. It existed. Uh, and so when I put a couple of sets of dice on there initially, like, I really hadn't made, I'd made, like, maybe five sales, and they were to people I knew as far as soap went. Um, and so when I put dice on there, I did not expect them to sell at all. And so I was, I was shocked when the, like, the, so I put, like, five sets of galaxy dice on there uh, at first. I'd only made, like, two sets, but I'm like, okay, I, I have a two-week lead time, and I can make these in that time. Um, I didn't expect to sell any like at all uh, and then I sold like all five sets in the span of like two weeks and I'm just like oh there's a market for this I see but no the 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 soap was kind of why I was just like oh eh, I don't know I'll put stuff up there but I don't really expect to sell anything because that was kind of the experience I had with with soap although at this point I feel like I could do a little bit more marketing and stuff just because I do actually have social medias, social media and stuff for my business. I actually have some branding now. Didn't really have much branding at the time. I, like, that sounds weird. Like, I don't really have, like, branding branding, but, like, I do have sort of an aesthetic going that I can kind of play off of. Um, that is part of the reason that my shop name is Alchemist's Attic and not anything dice related though um is because it does leave me open to make other stuff beyond dice and resin things um but it still has kind of like an aesthetic associated with it and then a whole bunch of more french knots slightly different lighter green ah, my my finger um yeah um but yeah i do i do kind of make some more soap I do want to make some more soap, but I want to figure out a way to kind of tie it to my shop's aesthetic. Didn't even think about non-dice related crafts. Well, yeah, see, that's the that's the thing. Like, 
Yeah. Well, like that's kind of what I was saying is that I I haven't been thinking about non dice related crafts, but like I'd love to do, um, like I've had lots of other ideas for things in the past. Like I'd love to do some kind of like junk art jewelry type stuff. Like I have things kind of set aside for that. Um, I have some kind of like ideas for how I would do that. You know, and like I have the stuff to make soap, I have the stuff to make candles. And I think it might be fun to do some like candles that have like, I don't know, crystals and stuff on the top, like that sort of vibe to them. You know, kind of, kind of witchy candles. Um, there's lots of, lots of options there. But I haven't, I haven't really been thinking about or planning for anything that's not dice uh, at the moment. So, like, you know, I haven't, haven't gotten around to it. And that's why I just added it to my planner for, for next Tuesday. Tuesday's kind of my admin day. It's where I do my scheduling and my planning and my ordering of materials. All that sort of stuff. I spend a lot of Tuesday in, like, my office. Um, on the computer and that sort of thing. But that's uh, that's now on my to-do list for Tuesdays to actually think about things that I want to do besides dice. Um, and like I said, I'm I'm open to like ideas and stuff too. If people have things that they'd love to see, you know, I'm. I think the only thing that I really don't the only thing that I don't really want to make to sell is paintings um, and part of that is just because I enjoy having that as a hobby I don't want that to become like a job um, I'm happy with dice being a job which maybe sounds a little bit strange I don't mean that in like a ugh, I gotta go to work type way but in like uh, you know I do actually have to Th there's days where I don't want to make dice and I, I it's like I gotta go do it anyways um, I don't really want that to be a pa my painting. I enjoy painting. And I'd like to do it more often, but I don't want it to be my job. Although if there's like something that requires a little bit of painting, that's fine. I do want to start doing some dice that have some painting associated with them. But like, paintings, paintings. You know. But... And then, like, jewelry and stuff, too. Oh, hey, I should show you guys the necklace that I made for my grandma. It's over here to go in the tumbler, but there's actually one spot that kind of, kind of, one piece of moss kind of floated, which is unfortunate, but let's see if I can, because I feel like these could make some, like, cool necklaces or something for my shop, too. Let me see if I can get it so you can see. So you want to focus? Everyone wants to focus. There we go. So a little little mountain necklace. Yeah, see so there's one piece of little floating moss in there, which is unfortunate, but sorry, I'm kind of blocking the light here, but like a little little mountain necklace. Like it might be fun to do some more like jewelry like that too. Start doing some more resin jewelry. It's like I could make I can make a few of these. But like I said, haven't really been thinking about it. Just been thinking about dice. Just been thinking about dice. I do enjoy dice making though. I just want to figure out something to make my day a little, not my day, but like something to get out of like the sort of grind. I'm not really, in, I don't know what to call it. I'm just doing the same thing every day at the moment. And I did make myself like a Word document of uh, random things to do. That sounds strange, but like I'm going to try and do something like that's out of my normal everyday stuff like every Thursday that's gonna be my new kind of goal even if it's just like doing a jigsaw puzzle or cleaning my office like just something that's not either 
making dice, sanding dice, or scrolling on the internet. <laughs> like, do something to, uh, do something to, that's a little bit different. That way when people ask me at the end of the week, hey, what did you do this week? I have an answer for them. It's not just, I made dice. I can say, hey, I did a jigsaw puzzle, or got my office all clean, or uh, I researched how to, I don't know, how bread was made in the Middle Ages. I, I don't know. Just just something something to do that's a little bit different. I'm always open to ideas for that, too. People are like, hey, you should research this thing, or have you ever thought of... I guess someone said cooking. Was it you that said cooking when I mentioned this before? Uh, which, to be fair, is not a bad idea. I don't, I don't do a lot of cooking. But it'd be a good thing that's different from, from normal. I could try baking something. I could try making a pie. I like pie. Maybe I'll make a pie. I'll add that to my list. I'm going to add make a pie to my list. It, yeah, it, to be fair, cooking is that thing where, like, I, once I'm doing it, I don't mind it. But, like, I just never want to start doing it. <laughs> that probably makes no sense. But, like, I, like I, don't, I don't mind cooking. And, like, I could do it. But I just never t make the... I never feel like I have the time to do it. It's one of those things where I do, and I should, but I, I just... I'm super lazy when it comes to cooking. What are you doing? No! No, get back here! No, stop stealing polymer clay! Stop stealing polymer clay! Here. Here, have this random dye. You can have that die. You don't need polymer clay. Yeah, there you go. Now you clean that. Clean that. She does not get the polymer clay off of the table. I have a couple of old dice. Um, it's probably not gr a great idea for me to teach my cats to play with dice. You know, just... <laughs> Maybe not the best idea, but I do have a couple of like old dice from back before I even got my masters that it's just like, yeah, you can have these, I don't care. You can go bat these around the house. As long as it's not a D4 for me to step on, it's fine. Um, my house is covered in random things that I've just given to the cats at one point or another. Like, yeah, you can have this to play with, that's fine. I should probably clean my house a little bit from all of the random like trash that I have everywhere that I've given the cats at one point or another. Just random junk. That that does that makes it sound like my house is a, a pigsty, but it's not like empty soda cans or anything gross. But like, um, <laughs> no caltrops, yeah. Um, to be fair, my, that's actually something that my uh, brother has said that I should make is just like a bag of like D fours that's just labeled as caltrops. Just sell it as that. Um. But no, I have all sorts of random, random, uh, like, cardboard boxes, or, um, what else do I have scattered around my house? Yeah, I don't know, stuff like that, I guess, that, you know, I'm un- or, or brown paper, like, I, I'll unpackage something. And, you know, I'll take the paper out and set it to the side and while I'm unpackaging things, and then the cat has claimed it at that point. I'm like, yeah, you can have the brown paper, that's fine. So I just have, like, random, like, packing material paper on my floor. Just kind of, just kind of messy. Should really clean some of that up. They've got, they've got plenty of things to play with. Like, they have plenty of things to play with, but they're always much more interested in trying to play with whatever it is that I have at the moment. As seen by what was happening earlier. I think after I get this little bit of green, we'll try the bow tie on and see how things are sitting. I want to see where 
things are lining up. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to get this on the inside of the... There we go. I think that's... Yep, that seems to be good. I'm trying to get it so that it's uh, not going through the other side. Because I'm going to cut this off and tie it off. And then we're going to see how this is looking. If I can get my uh, threads there. Alright. one. Ah, I'm just going to tie it twice and then cut it down a little bit more. There was just like half a second there where I forgot I was streaming. I was just like, oh yeah, sewing. I don't know, I might be a little bit tired. I took like a really short, like I took like a 15 minute nap earlier today, which was kind of nice. Like I went and sanded things for a couple hours and then I went upstairs and like plugged my phone in watched some YouTube videos, just kind of laid there and snuggled with the cat for a bit. It was good. It was good. All right, let's try uh, let's try this bow tie on. Let's see where it's where it's sitting at the moment. So let's see where here, let me just I'll go here so we can can see how this bow tie is looking. I can't, I can't watch it while I do it though. I need to do this by feel, otherwise it'll mess me up. Cause one, it's not mirrored. Oh hello! I have a kitty cat here to help. Apparently. What are you doing? What are you sniffing? Just sniffing my snacks. They're not for you. They're for me. Just like I'm a little bit busy at the moment. Yes, hello. All right, let's see where this sits. Okay, so it looks like it's still a little bit, and that's actually that side. Yeah, so it's still a little bit maybe too, let me put my collar down. And we can, we can see where everything is at on this bow tie. Maybe we can see if the kitty cat's not in the way. Okay, it's a little bit, a little bit thick. Uh, hello, she's very snuggly. Okay, so I think it's coming along. I could almost use maybe a little bit more on this side. I think this is looking better, but I could maybe use even a little bit more along the edge. Um, how's the other side? Yeah, I guess the other side would be on the inside. I could maybe use a little, even a little bit more, even a little bit further out. Maybe something just kind of thin if at all possible, but it's coming along. Yeah, and maybe something the left side. This side? Oh, this one's looking fine, this one's a little bit empty. Okay. Alright, yeah, I can I can see that. I just want it to look like it's actually like kind of growing. Like just kind of fill in the corner a little bit more. Yeah, I think this this side is looking a little bit empty now. I think that's true. Yeah, I think I think that's that is true. Hello, I have a, I have a kitty cat here to help. Okay, so maybe 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 we're good here, but we should fill in a little bit more, a little bit more on this side. Okay, cool. I'll take this off. You can see the cat that has come to help. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Get this out of the way. I'm just gonna leave that un undone for now. Hello! I have. This has turned into the kitty cat stream. Okay, so yeah, this this stuff ended up kind of working its way in a little bit because of how where I had placed it originally. Ah! So yeah, I think I think you're right in saying that this side needs to kind of work its way in a little bit too, maybe. Just get some more little pieces that are kind of 
What are you doing? Why are you sniffing? Why are you sniffing the sugar? I'm trying to eat sugar? You don't need sugar. You're a kitty cat. Um, yeah, I think I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh, hello. Yes, hello. Well, hmm. Do I want to start that tonight or not? Because my finger's starting to hurt a little bit. We might we might call that good for tonight. Just uh, not a not a super long stream or anything, but. Just, we got we got some stuff done. I at least got I think this side done, which is what I really wanted. And it does it does kind of highlight that this side's maybe a little bit empty now. So we'll, we'll add like a little bit more kind of in a little bit further, and I think that will help out. But otherwise, I think the bow ties look pretty good. <laughs> kitty cat, kitty cat. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think the kitty cat thinks it's time to sign off too, so that we can go snuggle. So, I think, I think I'm going to call it for tonight. Yeah. Yeah, fill in the empty side a little bit more so you see where you are before adding more of the full side. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. I think I am going to, I'm going to go back and do some more on the empty side. And we'll see if I need to add a little bit more over on here. But I think you're right in saying that it, it actually does look like it's, it's more, it, it is a little bit fuller now. And I think it does look more connected which was my concern before. Like it, it does actually kind of connect to the top and stuff, which was my, Carly, stop eating my bow tie. Okay, anyways, I think, I think I'm gonna call it. So uh, thank you for, for hanging out. i um, glad you can make it. I do, if anyone's here that doesn't know, I do stream every Wednesday and Saturday. So feel free to come hang out. Uh, same time, same place, but uh, have a good night. Bye.